one thing that I think always have separated TAFE greatly to universities has been that accessibility by people, all age groups, all, you know, all backgrounds, any type of socioeconomic um, type of circumstances, right? It's not like we spoke earlier, a set commitment, but more so, okay, well, I want to come and learn this, just have a bit of a top up in this skill and that skill. And that's the fundamental difference between, I think, university and TAFE New South Wales. So it's a really good point you make because, you know, we've got this open door policy. Yeah. It's, it's there for everyone. It's a fantastic concept. You know, yeah. we have people from overseas, from Asia, from North America, and they say, tell us how this, this vet thing works, vocational yeah. education training. Yes. And I think because it's open door, and there's not a lot of restrictions to enrolling and to getting in. Mm-hmm. There's that uh, illusion then that the quality of education and learning in TAFE yes. isn't at the same level as it is in a university. Now, I'm not saying that uh, a, a degree or a master's is uh, just as easy as a certificate three. I'm yes. not saying that. Yes. Totally different kind yes. of, of learnings, kind of totally different kind of learners. Yes. Totally different outcomes. Yes. But because it's open and because you don't know you don't have to get a certain ATAR in order to enrol into a TAFE course. Yes. There's that illusion back in the homes that, you know, maybe a, a TAFE qualification isn't going to be as prestigious, isn't going to make you as successful yes. as if you went into a a, a university degree. When you study, say, for example, a degree or a master's for logistics or what have you, it's, it's a set number of years, right? Mm-hmm. A set number of courses, units you've got to do and what have you. And I can't imagine that syllabus change too often within the course of those years. How often does TAFE New South Wales syllabus change during yeah. its educational yep. process or what you want to call that? So what, what a lot of people don't understand is the, the framework for vocational training, yeah. right? It, it is a nationally recognised system. Yes, and I think it's one of the best in the world. Right. Um, and so industry come together and they decide on what makes up a qualification and a skill. Right. And then based upon that intel from industry, qualification is born. At the end of the day, what it means is the qualification that you walk away with yes. is going to be current, yes. it's going to be relevant to what industry requirements are. Right. And uh, you haven't wasted your time. Well, it's great to see that, you you know, TAFE New South Wales actually has <clears throat> a keen understanding and focus on industry engagement. Right? Mm. With, without that, you know, I mean, what are we teaching here? You know what I mean? So yeah. it's really good to hear. And I think for anyone who is <clears throat> looking to really pick up a new skill set, and, and I'm sure this industry engagement isn't just with supply chain uh, and logistics. It's, it's, it's across the board with yeah. all your courses. So anyone who's thinking about doing TAFE New South Wales courses, for them to actually understand that, okay, we're learning something, but there's a good bunch of folks such as Chris here who's constantly engaging mm-hmm. with industry to get their feedback and then bring that relevance back into the teachings and the, uh, or back into the education. Yeah. Um, so that's very wonderful to hear.